Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Fidget Spinner Dating Game. Yeah, I have no idea. Let's start this game. Ah! This is the principal. Yeah, sure. I would dress like that too if I was a principal. Like, not gonna lie. Definitely. I hope this year I don't have to use my trademarked and utterly unique catchphrase, Fidgety Foo! Don't know what that means, but that's fine. Last year I had a new record of saying it 17 times. My wife was very angry. Stop swearing, she said. She said if I say Fidgety Foo more than 17 times this year, she'll divorce me. Hello? Uh, which is me, student new kid. Are you the principal? Ah, welcome. You must be the new kid, also known as student new kid. Um, yeah, sure, that's me. Well, that's quite an applicable name to your current situation, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> you think he's so funny. I love his hair, though. His hair is fucking amazing, I have to say. This is the second time having the name student new kid was useful. When was the first time? Uh, oh, when I slept with your mom. <laughs> Sure, where I slept with your mom. Fidgety foo! <laughs> Got him! Oh, I guess that'll pass us for a joke nowadays. Um, anyway, it's great to have you here at the Fidget Uber class. Key spinning for adolescents, kids and everyone, Academy. Or the fuck's sake, Academy, for short. Let me just check with class and- I Oh, um, you'll be in class F5. We're very lucky to have another new student starting in the class as well. They're the first fidget spinner to ever study here. What? Did you just say one of the students is an actual fidget spinner? Yeah, oh, don't worry, you probably won't notice they're a fidget spinner at all, they're blending very easily. Okay, um, hello, is this, uh, class F5? Yeah, it is. You must be the new kid. That's right, I'm student new kid. I can't believe one of the students is a fidget spinner, I can't tell which one. I mean... Can you tell? Huh? It's like Dora. It's, it's a, never mind. The music turns so calm. Ah, it's actually nice. Ah, it's not bad. You know, when you think about it, being a fidget spinner really is. I am not going to talk about fidget spinners. Um, I'm Clooney classmate. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm Dick Dancer. Okay, never mind. Um, um, I'm Fidgy. I mean, I'm a normal human. Humans should be eliminated about that. Right, um. Alright, students, calm the fuck down and let's get studying. Today we'll be studying angular momentum. Does anyone know what this means? Oh, I know. Angular momentum measures how fast things are rotating. That's right, Clooney. It measures stuff that rotates, and I know one of you who has a lot of experience with this. Am I right, Fidgy? Uh, no. I'm not a fidget spinner. Hey, student new kid, what are you doing? Watching at those amazing wings of your, I guess. I'm just about to go home. Why? Well, would you mind walking home with me? I don't know anyone else, and I'm kind of scared walking home in a new neighborhood. Oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. I'm happy to help if I can play with you in the meantime. <laughs> Fuck it. What? Thanks, student new kid. It's this way. Hmm, there's something different on Fiji, but I can't put my finger on it. Which is your pun, huh? You get the put finger, fidget, never mind. So, you probably already realized that I'm a fidget spinner. Ah, that's what it was. Yeah, now it all makes sense. Now that you mentioned it, I was wondering where her arms were. Makes sense. Uh, I know what you think. I'm a freak. I can never make friends at school. That's why I have to move around so much. Move around? Um, you mean that's why you spin around during break times? No, I just enjoy spinning. I meant moving houses. Right. Gotcha. Uh, and the more I move, the more people realize I'm a fidget spinner and want to play with me. It's a never-ending cycle. A never-ending cycle? <laughs> you mean, yes, you can stop spinning? No, I, ca I can stop spinning whenever I want. Anyway, I'm always lonely. That's why I was wondering, would you go on a school trip with me? Uh, you mean the cruise around the ocean? Sure, yeah, that's what we do with schools nowadays. I don't know anyone else. Do you promise you go with me? Okay, sure, I'll go. Thanks, you new kid. It means a lot to me. Fidget isn't like the other fidget spinners I know. <laughs> of course, I know many. Just saying. She's fun, sensitive, and girly. Just looking at her makes me dizzy. But that probably has other reasons too. I should tell her how unique and special she is on the first date. Great idea. Fidget. Hey, look, a giant fidget spinner. Let's catch it. Oh no! Children! Ha! Ah, that's okay. Quick, after it. Yay! They run off into the distance before you can make up your mind whether to follow them. They're gone. You decide to tell her how you feel tomorrow. 
Yeah. Hmm. Where's Fiji? She's still not arrived to class yet. Please come down, class. We will introduce our newest student. Now, I know a lot of you were surprised when Fiji turned out to be a fidget spinner, but I can guarantee this deck student is definitely a human. Please put your hands together for Jojo Jones. I think I just got AIDS. Hey, what's up? I'm Jojo, but you can call me Joe. Uh-uh. What's that beautiful boy in the background? Uh... That's me. Hi, yeah. I get called that a lot, I know. Uh, no, she couldn't be looking at me, right? He's so dreamy. You can sit next to student new kid, yo-yo. Yay! But miss, that's where Fiji sits. Fiji? Uh, you mean the fidget spinner? Now that you mention it, why isn't she in class yet? She might be in trouble. Can I go look for her? All right, but be quick. It's like the same as a restroom pass, but you'd stay away for like 10 hours. Huh. I hope Fiji is all right. I hear voices coming from the hall. I don't care what people say about you. You're beautiful. Looking at you makes me feel dizzy. Dick! You fucking asshole! That's exactly what I was about to say! Hey! Dick, that's so nice. No one's ever said that to me before. I don't know what to say. Say you go on a school trip with me. Say you promise. But Dick... <laughs> no, that's not funny. I'm not, a, I'm not a child, okay? That's okay. There's someone else. You... Already have a boyfriend? Not really. Then there's no problem. Should I do something? Burst in the toilet. Okay, stay back and see what happens, right? I've already asked someone to go on a trip with me. Has he told you how wonderful you are? No, he hasn't. Do you like him? I don't know yet. Do you like me? You're a nice dick. Uh, if he hadn't asked you first, would you go on a school trip with me? Yes. Then you should tell him that you can't go with him anymore. He won't mind. Let me think about it. We should get back to class. You're right. Right, so that's all what it takes for her to change your mind, huh? Someone new comes along and that's it! And they're going with her anymore so much for fucking promises. Huh. Is that a principal over there? Oh. Oh, come on, it's this guy again. Fucking hell. Oh, fidgety foo! Why did he say that again? <laughs> I don't get it. Um, the washing machines aren't working! Oh no, what am I gonna do? There are 60 points sitting naked waiting for me to wash their clothes after the sports lesson. If I can't wait them to wash their clothes, imagine what will happen! Principal caught with 60 naked students. Eyewitnesses count. I was cold. I was naked. There was a lot of naked people. 50 years ago today, the story that shocked the world into war. Principal caught with 60 naked students. I mean, I'm having a panic attack. I've got to find some way to get in these washing machines working. Um, is something wrong? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. You're friends with Fiji, right? Uh, funny that you mentioned it. Uh, but you sort of. Can you get it for me? I need a washing machine fixed now. Surely she could spin around and wash my clothes for me, right? Uh, never really thought about that before. Oh, she's kind of mean. I'm not sure she'd do it. Really? But she's so nice and friendly. You really think she wouldn't wash my clothes for me? Absolutely not. The more I see a fidgety, the more I realize how selfish she is. In that case, I'm still in trouble. How am I going to wash all these clothes? Let me fix the washing machine. I can do it faster and safer than fidgety ever could. Really? Well, if you insist, the washing machine is on the other side of the school. There might be some junk nearby that can help you. Great! Okay, all I need to do is fix the washing machine. That's not a big deal, right? Fidget is so special. Anything she can do, I can do myself. Even faster. Now, let me see. There's a lot of junk here that I can use to fix the washing machine. Firstly, how should I start spinning stuff around? Um, use an old plane propeller, which is obviously in a school. Who cares? That's fine! Now, what would I use as a power source? A lemon or a 19 volt battery? Definitely a battery. It's a little bit powerful, but maybe it'll make the clothes even cleaner than usual. Okay, then. Do I need to do anything else? Um... Plug it into a wall. Show me for busting out your big boom. I think. I think the patient is waking up. Hello? Can you hear me? You've been in a terrible accident. An explosion from a makeshift washing machine. Oh, that sucks. Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I'm Student New Kid. Exit nurse, note it down. Patient is awake and speaking. Can you try opening your eyes? Ah! Excellent, you seem to be better than getting better very quickly. You might be able to leave here very soon, but first let me ask you some questions to make sure you're okay. This is called the Rorschach or whatever test. I will show you an image and you just have to say the first thing you think of. What do you think of this image? Um, a horny fidget spinner. <laughs> yes! Interesting. And how about this image? Um, a fidget spinner floating in the ocean. One more image, just say the first thing that comes to mind. Fidget spinners everywhere! Uh, okay, I think I understand you deeply. 
You are mentally unstable, deranged person who is upset with fidget spinners. Uh, I think you need treatment. Uh, what kind of treatment, doctor? You need to be treated like my special patients by being thrown into a burning fire of my furnace! If you survive, then that shows you're flame proof, and hence, must be killed by drowning. No, what? That's not fair! So try to save yourself, you deranged lunatic, and get into the fire! No! Did I just die? Stop right there, Doc! The only one going to flames today will be you! Yeah! And then... No! Defeated by fidget spinners again! Poor doctor. Uh, are you okay? See the new kid? All of a sudden, it, it, it turned like from very, very hardcore to like... This again. This game is fucking amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Why do you even care? But how did you know I was here? You've been missing for 60 days! Well... I don't, I don't even wear a watch right now. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> it took you 60 days to figure out I was gone, huh? At first I thought you just had disappeared on your own. Maybe you wanted some time alone or something. But it didn't come to our school trip. I knew something was wrong because you promised you'd be there. So I came to find you. Ah, that doesn't really explain how you knew I was here. But anyway, everyone's waiting for us. Waiting for us to do what? Go on a school trip, silly. You're still coming? She have just been kidnapped for 60 days and almost thrown into a furnace. So you want me to go on a fucking school trip? Is that a yes? If it's a yes, then it has to be. You promised. You promised. Yay. I guess I can go on a school trip. What's the worst that can happen? And so you go on the school trip, which begins with the maiden voyage of the newest, biggest ship in the world. Set to be unsinkable. The Tide Spin Tannic. This game is just... <laughs> what? I don't even know. Whoa, so the TIE Spin Titanic was the first ship powered by fidget spinners? Yes, that's right! Finally something I might be useful for! Um, hey Fiji, can we dick dancer stare at you? So the new kid, what are you doing here? Surprised, are ya? Oh yeah, you've been missing for 60 days! 60? Mixty? No big deal. He's so dreaming, where does she come from all of a sudden? I'm only here because Fiji asked me specially. Yeah, about that. What, you don't want me here? Of course I do, I mean, we promised. I just don't want you to get any weird ideas, okay? We're just friends, all right? This fucking fidget spinner. Haha, <laughs> yep, good old friends, ah, come on Fiji, let me show you the, how the fidget spinner's power the ship. Oh, yay! You know what? Dick Dancer leaves with <laughs> I should stop laughing at that, with his arms around Fiji and a stupid grin on his face. So, it looks like you'll be single on this school trip, huh? Oh, whatever, it doesn't bother me. You know, I've been watching you from afar. I mean, from up there, you mean. You're a fucking yo-yo. Really? I don't think I care. You're very handsome, very macho, I like that. Ah, thanks. Whatever. You know, there's something different about Jojo Jones, but you can't put your finger on it. Again. Maybe I'll learn more about talking to right now. You probably already know this, but just, I'm actually a yo-yo. Ah, yeah. I'm very bad at distinguishing these sort of things. Now that she mentioned it, I was wondering where her arms, legs, and body were, and why she's dangling from the fucking roof. I think we should start dating. You agree? And if you say no, I'm going to kiss you anyway. You know what, Jojo? Yes. Cool, let's kiss. Student new kid, come see this. Ah! You're kissing a yo-yo? I didn't know you felt that way about kids' toys. Fiji, it's not like that. What was that? Did you just crash into something? Oh no, Dick Dance, you're still on the edge of the ship. I don't care! Fidgey, no, it's too dangerous! Ah, uh, the boat is shaking again! I've gotta see Fidgey! Fidgey! What happened to Fidgey? I was knocked over the edge just before I fell in. Fidgey grabbed me and helped me back up. I was climbing back on board when a second shape happened. I grabbed her arm. She doesn't have one, and she. She pulled her over the edge. She's in the water? Fidgey! Can you hear me? I can't see. She must be underwater. Oh no, what have I done? I don't deserve to be still be alive! I agree, fucking die! It's only a matter of time until she drowns, she's really sucked up by the propellers. Uh, it's worse than that, yo-yo. Even if we saved Fitchy somehow, we've crashed into an iceberg and the entire ship is sinking. We only have minutes before we're underwater. Fidgety foo! As their friend sinks deeper beneath the waves, the ship slowly sinks down too. Will they be able to escape alive? And if they do, will they be able to tell each other how they really feel? Find out next time on Date A Fidget Spinner 2, coming to cinemas or whenever. I don't know when. Thanks for playing. Well, okay, best game I've ever played. No doubt about it. Better than The Witcher 3. It's better than, it's better than fucking Roblox. It's a better game than I've ever, 
It's, it's the best. I loved it. I hope you loved it too. Um, fidget spinners.